Most people misunderstand data-driven manufacturing for one of these two reasons. On the one hand, many people believe data-driven manufacturing is just about collecting lots of data. But I constantly see companies with all the data they need, yet they still struggle with accessing, organizing, and leveraging their data. Even those manufacturers who have visibility to some or all of this data often fail to act on it for reasons ranging from bandwidth to culture. On the other hand, some believe data-driven manufacturing is about driving massive change, but often the greatest value is found in the smallest details, the insights that allow you to be 1% better every day. For example, one of our clients recently installed IIoT sensors to get real-time data on line speed. Once this went live and plant managers had access to this data on their phones, they realized the night shift was running the line a little bit slower to keep things easier. You might say, it's just a minor change in speed, what's the big deal? But this decrease in speed meant a slight decrease in output in a line producing 100 million annually. Increasing production by even 1% a day makes a huge difference. Even when manufacturers understand this reasoning, many remain hesitant to change. Sure, you could be 1% better, but staying the same is tempting, especially if you think 1% better requires years of work and major capital expenses. Don't buy into the misconceptions about data-driven manufacturing. It's more than data, but less than the complete overhaul of your operations. If you're ready to take the next step, solving one problem at a time, you should call me. If you're ready to turn your data into actionable data, you better call Tom.